Stephanie with Steph's on a Budget. Welcome back for another video. I am so glad you're here today. We are going to set up our first budget for uh, December, which is just wild. Um, I was thinking about it today. I don't know why anybody would, you know, point out that they have a favorite month, but I guess if I did, December would be it. <laughs> Even though I hate the cold, I, I definitely prefer to be hot, but <laughs> um, I just, this is just such a fun time of year. Um, you know, I just love Christmas festivities. So yeah, we are looking at the December spread. This will technically be what um, us budgeters call a magic month for us. My husband and I, um, I have Quite a few new subscribers so welcome thanks for joining the channel uh, my husband and i are both full-time hourly paid employees we get paid on a bi-weekly basis um, and we're paid on the same day which is typically a friday so we're going to get three paychecks um, for the month of december on the 1st 15th and 29th we are going to be budgeting our paychecks for december 1st together today um, but yeah, I, I'm excited. The magic months are always, <laughs> um, I don't know, sometimes they muck things up more, more than anything, but uh, I think I've kind of worked ahead a little bit in my budget, which I typically plan, I usually do, and um, I think everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. So for us, our mortgage, we split into two payments, um, which we typically split between the two paydays. So I kind of just worked ahead to figure out where those two mortgage payments need to come out um, or what would fit the budget best. So. Um, I am, I am excited. This, I, I love the way my December spread turned out. It's so pretty to look at, which always makes it fun. Uh, but if you are new here, I use a big happy planner. We put this together in a video. Um, go check that video out if you're kind of new to budgeting and trying to find a system. Um, but I essentially use a big happy planner, take out all the guts, and then put the printable budget mom workbook into this happy planner. And that is how we budget. So we are um, using our highlighter method. We are looking to pay everything that's in the top red here with our December 1st paycheck. However, we had a little bit um, less expenses with our last November paycheck. So if you remember from that budget with me, you guys, we went ahead and paid a couple of bills already with that paycheck. So we have um, some that are highlighted that are actually already paid and I made a note of that. So we went ahead and paid our student loan and our internet um, with our last paycheck. So we don't have to worry about it this time. Um, but yeah, let's just jump on in and get the show on the road, you guys. So we're going to flip over and pull out the paycheck budget tracker. Um, so I work full time as a nurse. My husband works in healthcare and anesthesia and still works like in a hospital setting. So that is where our income comes from. I'm going to leave the spread open and off to the side um, just so I can see what we've got going on. And then you guys know me, I need my cushion paper here. <laughs> okay, now that we got the budget book out of the way, let me bring you on in a little bit closer. Okay, oh, I feel all frazzled, you guys. I had um, my annual 40-year-old mammogram this morning. I actually had a mammogram last year because I had a little bit of a lump scare. Everything turned out to be okay. So this was just kind of my yearly follow-up. Um, it went um, really good. They, they are amazing there. Also, um, I had called my insurance the, yesterday uh, because I just, when I'm having procedures like this, I just like to check in and make sure that it's preventative, it's covered, because we do have a high deductible plan. And my last mammogram was diagnostic, so it cost me almost a thousand dollars, you guys, <laughs> out of pocket uh, because we have that high deductible. So um, bonus, if you guys check with your insurances, um, sometimes there's things out there that we just don't know about. And the lady I got was so extremely helpful. Everything was covered. It should be preventative as long as they bill that way, which they should, because I talked to them about it this morning at my appointment. But not only that, she found that my insurance and the clinic that I go to for my mammograms offer a reward. So I essentially will get mailed a $40 check um, to 
spend as I please. <laughs> so that was super exciting. <laughs> so definitely if you're having those kind of routine, but not really routine. So, you know, the kind of random things that come up just periodically, like mammograms and colonoscopies and stuff like that, call and check with your insurance. You guys see if your plan offers anything like that. I was super excited and, and how nice of her to like dig that up for me. That was awesome. Okay. But anyways, all that to say, I had that appointment and then I had to drive out of town for a visit and traffic is just nuts and people are driving like, you know what? So I'm just all frazzled and couldn't wait to get home, but here we are. Okay. We are getting paid December 1st, my friends of 2023 and for pay one. So I really liked how, um, I budgeted last time where I just kind of budgeted the, the minimum so that we didn't have kind of that lifestyle inflation. And then when payday came, um, we, you know, that money didn't sneak in places it shouldn't. It went to 100% financial goals, which was awesome. So for pay one, we're going to budget the 2,800. And for pay two, we're gonna budget the minimum of 1,700. Um, I should be getting another travel pay this time, but I'm not 100% sure. I was actually really shocked that it went through all the approvals as quick as it did. I think because of the holiday, I was definitely not expecting it till the next payday. So we'll see if it comes through in, in that way. But with our minimum pay, we are looking at 4,500. So that is the income we are expecting. And then we're gonna move down to fixed expenses and pay our bills. So like I said, we're gonna set aside half of our mortgage. So let's do that. And that'll be 12-1. And these, this mortgage we're setting aside will actually pay for January. And update my friends. Um, I did do a friends binder savings challenge last payday. I have not gotten around to editing and posting it. Honestly, the video is kind of a hot mess, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to even bother to salvage it and get it up for you, but I will look at it again and we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, but anywho, I had said in that video that might not be going up. So we had saved that $953 in our Harry Potter binder. We did decide to pay the escrow shortage or whatever. Um, so that our mortgage did not increase. So um, that means about $789 of that $953 went to our mortgage, um, our escrow, and the other $164 we did put towards debt. So not nearly what I was hoping for, but I actually feel really good because our mortgage actually is coming down now because of that, which is great. It's not like mountains less, but it's gonna be $30 a month cheaper. So we were at $22.95 last year for our mortgage, and now it's going to be at $22.69 and some change. So I'm just gonna round it up to $22.70, which is gonna give us an extra $30 to snowball into our debt. I thought, well, I could just pay the extra $30 to my mortgage, but um, we're nowhere near paying that off. I think I would see better benefit um, of putting that to our current debt snowball. So that's going to be my plan. So instead of our usual um, 1150, so the mortgage is now 2270, you guys, divided by two. So we're going to set aside 1135. So that's $15 less a paycheck for our mortgage. That's awesome. I need to remember though to put that $15 into the debt snowball. Okay, next up we have, um, okay, so we paid student loans, we paid internet. So that means the next thing we have is our truck payment and that's due on the 5th. And that is for 1013. Um, and then we have our taxes that we're paying on also on the 5th and that's gonna be $50. Okay, then we have our natural gas bill, and that's due on the 8th, 
and that one you guys is $70 so this one will definitely jump up next month because we're running the gas fireplaces and the heater is on because it's been cold okay then we have our personal loan which is our current debt that we're working on that's due on the 10th that gets 150 for its minimum payment and then we have our electric bill which is finally starting to come down also on the 10th and it was for 169 okay um, and then we have our water bill for the house and that's due on the 14th you guys and that I actually just pulled out of the mail today and that was a little bit less than I expected that's coming in at 175 but then there's always a fee to pay it online so 177 is what we'll budget okay that will definitely come down next month a bunch because the, the water is off now. So the, the weather stayed unusually warmer longer than it normally does. So my husband was still like watering like once a day, which I wasn't aware of. And then he, I was like, I went outside and it's all wet out there. He's like, oh, I still have the water on once a day. And I was like, really? I thought we turned that off. So next month, next month should be better. And then we have our City 2 card, you guys, also on the 14th, and that's going to get 115 and it looks like that is all of our expenses. Let me just double check, because that seems less than usual. <laughs> okay, it looks good, you guys. Let's add it all up. Okay, we're looking at $28.79, which is really good for us. We're usually in the $3,000 to $3,200 range. So if we take our income minus our fixed expenses, that leaves us with $1,621, which we're going to carry down to our variable expenses. And these categories, my friends, are the same. We've got groceries. Costco, gas for the vehicles, <clears throat> excuse me, miscellaneous, house and beauty. Uh, what do we do? Takeout, spending, um, water. This is for uh, drinking water. We pay for gallons of water um, and use a, like a five gallon thing. Oh, and then we have added pets to this area because we were significantly under budgeting in that category. Okay, groceries, gonna get its usual 300. Costco, we are going to put 200 towards Costco, which I said I had wanted to drop it down to 150, which I did last payday, but just looking at this number, I think we're gonna have a little extra and I want to fill that because we are going to do a Costco shop this weekend and it's like holiday season. You know, they always have like all that seasonal stuff that you can't resist. <laughs> okay. Gas is getting 175, 40 for miscellaneous and house and beauty, a hundred towards takeout. Also, if you're new here, we are a family of six. We have four children, my husband and I, but our oldest is out of the house. So we're a household of five. Uh, spending the 360 has been working out okay I think we're going to stick with that um, $38 towards our water you guys and then we're gonna put $25 into pets so let's add that all up and that leaves or well it adds up to $1278 and if we take that from our 1621, that leaves us with $343, um, which I'm going to go ahead and jump over um, down to here to the debt snowball. I'm going to skip this um, savings part uh, because I want to put that $15 um, in here so I don't forget you guys. So we're going to budget that $15. So 343 minus that 15 is 328. 
Okay. And then, then we'll bring the 328 up here to our sinking funds and savings challenges. So what are we going to do here? Um, we are going to, we've got quite a bit. So we know what we have is the month ahead. Okay. Um, that gets $33. So we know that. I'm just going to math this out together here. So that's $295. Um, our debt binder, we're going to put $200 towards that, you guys. I just want to, I want to get this debt paid off. So $200 to that, which leaves us $95. Um, there's no like pressing sinking funds that we need to get money into right now. So let's just do the 95 into savings challenges because um, I've been moving completed challenges into sinking funds anyway, so that works out. So that um, adds up to 328, those three, which then leaves us with zero dollars, which gives us that zero base budget that we are looking for. And then anything over this income will go um, to debt and to um, savings, whatever those two goals are, which are currently, um, our current debt snowball is our personal loan and our current savings goal is our um, emergency fund. So we're just trying to, you know, grow that over the minimum that we have in there to, um, you know, get that more beefed up. But that is how we are going to budget out our December 1st paycheck, my friends. Um, thanks for joining me for another video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit that notification bell so you'll know when any of my upcoming videos are posted. And we'll see you in the next one, friends. Have a good one. Bye.